and welcome to, back to my channel. On today's video, I will be doing my April to June TBR. I have one bag, I have another bag, and I have a bag downstairs that I'm not going to bring up because we'll be here all day, me trying to, you know, get all my books up. So I'm just going to go straight into it. So the first book that I'm going to be reading is City of Fallen Angels by Cassandra Clare. This is the fourth book in the Mortal Instruments series. And we're basically following Clary and Jace's adventures. So it's to stop the next, the new big bad that's came up. Anyway, that's what I was saying. So in City of Fallen Angels, it's about Clary kind of adapting to her new life as following on from the third book. I don't really want to spoil too much, but let's just say there's a, a big bad and she's got to work with everybody else to try and stop. That new big bad that we found out in the third book. So, yeah, I'm just gonna end it there because <laughs> I don't want to spoil anything for people who haven't read it. The next book that's on my TBR list is in here, which is Clockwork Prince. Now, as you can see, I've, I've already started reading it. So, to kind of sum everything that happened. I was reading it in a different order. I think I was reading it in chronological order. And then I found out that there was massive spoilers in Jane and White. So because of that, I've had to change the way I read things. So now I'm reading it in chronological order. So as soon as I finish City of Fallen Angels, I will be up to date in the chronological order. And I can just carry on with this one, which is what I'm just going to do. Uh, this is following Tessa Gray, and she's in Victoria, London, um, and finding out more about the Magister, and yeah, it just sounds very fascinating, and I can't wait to get back into this world, because I do love the Infernal Devices, it's one of my favourite series, it's very good, and yeah, I'm looking forward to it. After that, I will be reading City of Lost Souls, which will be... The one after the it'll be the fifth book in the Morlinstone series. Um, no idea what it's about because they haven't read Sea of Fallen Angels properly, so I have no idea what's happening. And I don't want spoilers, so I'm not going to read the blurb at the back either. That's why it's not here. Um, so yeah, that would be good. And then I'd be reading the Clockwork Princess, which is the last one to the Infernal Devices series. So that will be really good and interesting. And then after that, well, except for the epilogue, which I have to read, I think, after City of Heavenly Fire. Because after that, I'll be reading City of Heavenly Fire, which will be the last one in the Mortal Instrument series. So, my plan for April and June, in terms of the Shadowhunter Chronicles, is to read, well, is to finish the Infernal Devices and finish the Mortal Instruments. If I can do that, I'll be really happy, because then we can move on to um, the... Which books? Are they indeed? Not the wiki. Oh, then we can move on to the Bane Chronicles, uh, Chain of Gold, Chain of Iron, The Red Scrolls of Magic, Gloss Book of the White, and then I tell us of the Shadow Hunter Academy, Shadow Hunter Codex, Ghosts of the shadow market and then i think i should be up to date which would be very exciting because that's what I, I really want to achieve that for 2021 i want to be up to date with the shadow hunter series that would be amazing so that is my plan and i feel like there's a good chance i'm going to be able to do it so i'm really happy i also on my tbr to finish reading blood air because it is almost done i've just got a little bit left and yeah, once that's done, I'm going to be happy. I'm really enjoying it right now. And I can't wait. So I'm going to try and finish that over the next couple of days. So that would be good. After that, I'm going to read its sequel, which is Red Tigress. Which I think I actually might have up here. Actually, somewhere. Hmm. I really should have gotten all these out. Four hands and them. Nope. 
Oh, right. I really should have guessed it'd be Lily and the Great Wolf. So, yeah, after that, I'd be reading Sequel Red Tigress, which I have the Lumicrate version. And it takes place obviously after Blood Air. It uh, follows a princess who has the blood of. Well, has the affinity for blood, as then she can control it. And she was framed as the killer of her father, which is. So, yeah, it's about a princess who got framed for killing her father, and she's has the affinity of blood, which basically people with powers, affinities are generally not well liked and she has to work with a how do we describe him? He's um so she has to work with a guy called Ramson who is a bit of a crime lord. He's very yeah. He knows how to do crime. But anyway, she has to work with him to basically find out and stop, you know, to basically, I'm trying to think, right, she basically has to work with him to find the person who murdered her father, bring him to justice so then she can get her title princess back and get justice for her father. And it's a lot more complicated than that, so it's kind of really hard to describe unless you've read it, but it's really, really, really good. Like, it's well-crafted, character development is excellent, I'm really enjoying the pacing, and I can't wait to go on to Red Tigers because I've almost finished Blood Air, and I'm just really looking forward to seeing how all this ends. So, yeah, that's the next book. I'm sorry it took so long to describe. <laughs> um, after that, I've got some arcs that I've got to read. So I've got The Shadow in the Grass. I've got Pastel Pink, I have Order, I have Blood Casino, I've got The Crowns of Crossworld, which is the only middle grade on my list. Um, I, and that's because my boyfriend likes middle grade, so we said we'd read that together. Uh, Invisible Girl, and The Root Witch, and The Other Side of Perfect. And the Other Side of Perfect I'm really excited about because I've been chosen on my bookstagram to do a tour post for it so I'm so excited so that'll be really good yeah <laughs> and yeah after that I want to finish the violent delights which I've been trying to read finish for like ages it's Romeo and Juliet returning and um, based in Shanghai there's monsters going around and Romeo and Juliet who were basically um, a part of a mafia crime groups. Well anyways, they run the city and they've got to work together and these two factions don't like each other at all and they've got to work together to find out, you know, try and stop the monster and find out what the hell's going on in Shanghai. So yeah. It's really good and the romance it's really good too i'm really looking forward to that next one on my list that i'm trying to read is not you is that downstairs too oh it's downstairs too is the next book on the list is a dedication written by Naomi novik i'm reading it to see if if i like her writing style because I've also got Spinning Silver and Uprooted on my shelf and if there's one thing that I'm learning over the last two years is how to see if a writing style suits me or not and I'm learning it's something I can pretty much know in the first couple of chapters so I'm going to give her book a go and if I don't like it I'll probably pass it on but after that I have Burn Cry's Moon which is also downstairs that I'm also currently reading. I recently had the sequel, which is Bone Cry's Dawn Away from Feraloot from Feraloot. And it's very pretty. And I just wanna i I'm gonna give it a go. I am a bit unsure about it. Because I've read a couple of chapters and I don't know. And this book bag is very heavy. And it's leaning on my leg and it's crushing it. 
<sighs> so yeah, we will see. But the one thing I'm learning is, you know, what it's I don't know. It's very strange because you look at a book blurb and you like it sounds fascinating, and it isn't until you pick it up that you kind of go. Ooh, I'm not keen on this writing star or ooh, this is really good. And it's only till that moment that you kind of learn if you like a book or not. And sometimes it's kind of sad because there's some writing styles that just don't down with me. And it's no fault of the author, it's just my reading taste versus their writing style. And like until you read it you don't know. So it's like gambling every time with a book. You pick a book up and you're like, will I like this? Will I hate it? Like, Cassandra Clare's books, when I first started reading them, I had no idea whether I was going to like it. In fact, I'm pretty sure I remember Seat of Bones. I read it and at first I wasn't quite sure what to make of it. So I left it a while and I came back to it again and we read it and I loved it. So sometimes it's, it's a case of that too. But I think even back then I kind of knew that I would like it. I think you just know and sometimes it is the timings of when you read a book as well and when I first read that book I was yeah it just wasn't the right time I think well now it is so yeah it's really strange anyways moving on from my little rambling there next book on my list is this one and I am so excited to read it and I think it's upside down. No, it's not. Ooh. And it is Daughter of Smoke and Bone by Leah Baidu, though. I'm interested to read this because I managed to get the Lion Taylor's special edition of Stranger Dreamer, which is Lip Joy's exclusive edition. I meant to say Lip Joy first. I'm a bit tired. <laughs> and my head hasn't been great today. Yeah, that's sort of thing. The last three months have been really tough migraine wise. Uh, currently talking to the doctors about seeing if I can, you know, get that sorted. So, reading's been a bit all over the place because of it. But, I'm interested about this book. And I have been since the moment I heard about it. Um, I mean, for blurb. Around the world, black handprints are appearing on doorways, scorched there by winged strangers who have crept through a slit in the sky. In a dark and dusty shop, a devil's supply of human teeth grows dangerously low. And in the tangled lanes of Prague, a young art student is about to be caught up in a brutal otherworldly war. And that just sounds fascinating. Like, I'm hooked already. So, yeah, I managed to get these second hand, which was amazing. The woman was really lovely. Um, and, because it was a gift from my boyfriend, but I found them and I was like, you know. <laughs> It was like, sweetie, book, the original cover. And he gave them to me. I also have the Limicrate special edition covers as well, which are on my shelf. So, yeah, I'm really looking forward to reading that one. After that, I'm also looking forward to finally reading... Kingdom of the Wicked by Kerry Manscalo. I've been looking forward to reading this since it came out. It's also this is the Folio edition and it's so beautiful. It's so stunning. Like, look at the cover. Look at the artwork. It's just beautiful. And I finally hopefully will get around to reading it. It's basically about two sisters, one of them about their twins, and one of them gets murdered. And the other one has to go on a quest to find out why they were murdered, why she was murdered, and get vengeance. And it just, it sounds very fascinating. I also really want to, at some point this year, pick up Carrie Mascaro's, I hope I'm pronouncing it Mascaro, yeah, it's not right. Um, Stalking Down the Ripper series. I really want to read that because it sounds so fascinating. So, yeah. Hey, and that's one bag now. Ooh. This side. <laughs> After that, 
I also want to read, and I think it's in here, A Court of Thorns and Roses. I have heard recently that there has been a TV show that's in, a in production for A Court of Thorns and Roses series. That sounds really interesting. I've never read this series before. I have read Crescent City and I really enjoyed it. If you're interested to know what I think, please watch my review. But yeah, this, oh my god, the dust jackets are absolutely stunning. This is the Luma Great dust jackets. Done by Ithiana, I think. I'll put her name on the in the video and in the description down below but it sounds so fascinating it's about a girl who murders the one person and then has to pay for it by going into the fey realm that's basically all i know and it just sounds interesting so yeah i can't wait next up that i'd like to read is in this cute little bag here i was so excited when i got this so this was Lit Joy's YA book from last year in December I think and it's the Love Curse of Melody McIntyre. This sounds so fascinating. I mean the blurb itself is just it's great. The truth is I'd do anything to make the spring musical go perfectly even swear off love and it's about her love story and I can't wait. It's so cute. Look at the inside. It's so adorable. It's so pretty and I just can't wait to read this. It sounds right up my alley. It's romance. It's signed and it literally these books are so pretty. I can't wait. After that, we, we're almost finished, I promise. I want to read A Curse So Dark and Lonely which is a Beauty and the Beast retelling that's all I know sounds so interesting when a kingdom is cursed love must bloom in the darkest of places fall in love break the curse it just sounds amazing I love fairy tale retellings I'm beginning to learn about the world right up my alley so I'm really excited. I have got the February edition of this one and the last one in the series. I'm missing the second one, which is A Heart So Fierce and Broken. I'd like to try and get that this year at some point if I can. But yeah, I can't wait. It's exciting. And then there's just three more books, I think. Next one is The Poppy Wars, which I don't know much about I'm not going I'm gonna be honest um, I know it has drug use in it there's it's about war grief and yeah that's pretty much all I know I know a lot of people who read it have been like heartbroken so I'm really interested to finally start reading it and get my heart broken by it so yeah we will see uh also nice very quickly look you got the beautiful artwork on the cover and then you got the stunning this jacket it's so beautiful i love illuminates editions Yep. <laughs> so there's that one. Another book I'd like to read to see, and because of the upcoming to see if I like the the series, and because it's the upcoming TV show that's coming out soon, as well as it being uh, the first in the series, is Shadow and Bone by Leah Bardugo. This is the Waterstone exclusive. I do have the Fairy exclusive as well. And I'm really excited to read this. Um, I don't know much about it, to be honest with you. Um, but 
it sounds interesting this declutters edition so it's basically a mix between science and superstition so that sounds really interesting um i look forward to that and there's just books everywhere now so many books and the last one that i'd like to read which is somewhere which i think's in here yeah is Serpent and Dove by Shelby Marwin. Marwin? Marwin? Anyway, it's Serpent. The last book that I'd like to read is Serpent and Dove by Shelby. This is a book I have the. I've heard a lot about it through the, through the book community. This is the fellow edition, so it's got gorgeous gold edges. I've got Blood and Honey too. And I'm hoping to get Gods and Monsters as well. From what I know about it, it's about a witch and a witch hunter getting married. And yeah, it's meant to be like, if you like Sourdough Mass, you'll probably will like this too. And from, um, from Cindy's video, maybe Cindy, which I'll put her uh, YouTube and her video of this book review down in the description below I really loved it like it sounds really funny and it sounds like I'm gonna go on one hell of a ride with this book so yeah that is everything that I want to read um let's just we'll see how I do I hope I can read the majority of them I'll be very happy so, yeah, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Oh, what are your, what's your TBR for the next couple of months? Is there any series you want to get through? Let me know in the comments below. Bye.